Hey there, my name's Yandra, and if you weren't already aware, the Overwatch community is insanely talented. As this year's Summer Games event came to a close, I ended up falling down the wonderful rabbit hole of fan skins and fan edits, and wanted to highlight some of my favourites for Mercy. Don't get me wrong, the skins Blizzard gives us are really, really good, but events aren't always the same each year, so we get the same general themes. Fan skins get to go beyond Christmas, Summer, and Halloween, which is one of the main things I really like about them. Starting with number one, and I want to get this out of the way because it's cheating, but Dragoon edits. Just all of them. Every single one. Okay, so during the anniversary event, we got Dragoon Mercy, and there were a lot of mixed opinions on it. Many people liked it, many didn't, with a lot of the criticisms coming down to two things, the overall colour scheme and the helmet. Now, to be fair, Mercy doesn't have another skin that's primarily green, but as I said on its release, I really wish they had gone down the double recolor route that's been seen in the past. Players were fast to notice that the in-game spray doesn't completely match the skin, and a lot of changes were quickly mocked up. Honestly, I really, really like them. The dark ones especially, like, those are my favourite. I also want to give a special shout out to this Deathwing version, which is low-key my favourite one of all. Like, this is, like, it's so good. The hair also got redesigned a few times, and this green one is super cool. My favourite changes overall, though, were the ones that touched on the helmet. Some edits have gone rid of it entirely, but others just removed the chin area, which goes such a long way in fixing the bulkiness that it might as well be in orbit. I didn't expect Blizzard to change Dragoon like they did in the past with Hanzo, and nor should they, but I cannot deny the community knocked it out of the park and hit a space shuttle or two in the process when it came to these edits. Number two is Cupid Mercy, and oh my god, I think this one is super cute. I admit, it's kind of similar to Wing Victory, which might be why I like it so much. Both are super elegant and inspired by ancient Greek aesthetics, but I feel like Cupid Mercy is distinct enough with its colour scheme that it has a place in the game. I also like that it's another shot at ginger hair for Mercy, which we haven't seen since Sigrun, and the thing with these two skins is, I feel like most people who use them only play Mercy when they have to fill as her, like the player equipped the skin when they started playing and never looked back. Anyway, I'm a huge sucker for tiny details in skins, like ASP is one of my favourites for Farah, partially due to the blue eyeshadow, and Cupid has some lovely ones with like the hard earring. One potential issue might be that Blizzard tends to be pretty hit or miss when it comes to Mercy's golden staffs. Funnily enough, Dragoons is really, really good, while Winged Victory loses a lot of its detail and kind of reminds me of a golden whisper bar, which I know is kind of specific, but I promise this video isn't sponsored by Cadbury. If this skin were added, hopefully the golden staff wouldn't look like it had been left in a swimming pool full of yellow paint overnight. There's quite a few different fan skins with a Valentine's Day theme, and I've been desperate for new or different events for like two years now, so I am just super into it. There's a lot you could do here, like heart holding sprays or victory poses. I was gonna post some skins from Fortnite's Valentine's Day as an example, but then I saw this creepy pasta ass bastard, and I'm just filled with irrational hatred looking at this. I can only imagine the hitbox makes you feel like you're fucking fighting Neo from the Matrix. Number three, and this is based around an existing event, but Lifeguard Mercy. I only recently found out that this skin idea is kind of a big deal, and there are forum posts all the way back to 2017 asking for it. There has been numerous mock-ups over the years, and I'm not going to post all of them because I would like my account to remain eligible for monetization. They're fairly simple but fun, and I feel like Dr. Ziegler proves that a skin doesn't need a lot of intricate detail. Some go for a nice swimsuit look, while others are more bikini-based, with this one being my favourite. I know some players were disappointed that we didn't see Lifeguard Mercy this summer event, but hey, us Mercy players, we're pretty spoiled for skins. I mean, Wing Victory, the best Mercy skin in the game, is literally right. <laughs> no, I think it's pretty fair if Mercy skips a few events as long as characters like Baptiste are just completely starved for good skins. That being said, I also get why people really love the idea of a lifeguard skin. Lifeguard save people, Mercy saves people when they aren't focused, or hit with burst damage, or booped off the map, or hit with several ults at once. Shit. Anyway, can you imagine heroes never drown for a new voice line? I think that'd be really cool. Number four, while we're near the sea, is Coral Mercy. I'm including this one because I think it's cute and also really different to most Mercy skins you see, whether official or fan-made. My favourite part of this one is actually the pistol. I noticed a few of these concept skins play around with her blaster, which I really like because it's so easy to overlook that part of her kit. I feel Coral Mercy would work super well as a weekly challenge or mini event reward. A while back, this image of map concepts went around Twitter and is super cool. Like London is obviously King's Row, while San Joaquin looks like it was scrapped at some point. The main one of interest here is Galapagos, which shows some sort of underwater theme. Then, for the anniversary event, we were given this image of Hammond, and that side of Overwatch YouTube that makes 15 minute videos based around singular images went kind of apeshit. 
to be honest though, I can't blame them. It's been over two years since we got our last map, Havana. I know we're probably not getting any more until Overwatch 2, but wouldn't it be cool to get a sea theme map and a mini challenge to celebrate it? Number 5 is this unnamed elegant Mercy. It was around here that I realised this video is pretty much just a list of skins I find hot. Like this design, it's just, it's, it's gorgeous, you know. Whoa! Just Queen Mercy, you know, step on me, call me poor. Oh, Christ. Oh my god, what the fuck happened to me? Number six is Anquaria Mercy, apologies if I said that wrong, as we loosely stick with the royal theme. I came across this skin really late into making the video, <laughs> as in finishing the final touches and ready to render kinda late, but this was such a treat to find and I'd be absolutely kicking myself if it wasn't included. I don't have much time to write this section and my brain is currently the monkey holding the symbols, so I just, I love everything about this. The colour, the wings, the hair, all of it, it's just, it's really good. Number seven is Dark Valkyr Mercy. Mercy's normally a character associated with light and kindness, so it's no surprise that people have flipped that theme to create more villainous skins. With Mercy being tied to resurrection and an event dedicated to Halloween, necromancy is an obvious choice and so many artists have done a wonderful job with it, as in portraying it, not actually doing it. It was so difficult picking just one for this video and all of these great designs easily could have gotten their own section. Runic Priestess and Necromancer Mercy especially were both closely second. Generally when Overwatch gets spooky, it does fun playful horror like Sombra's Bride, Anna's Pharaoh and Winston's T-Pose. Still, I kept coming back to Dark Valkyrie Mercy with its more serious and detailed approach. A 3D model was also created by Emily who tried to match it with Overwatch's overall style and I think it works really well. I could definitely see this in-game with a few touches here and there. Also, like Coral Mercy, I appreciate the pistol redesign, which looks great. Number 8 is Steampunk Mercy. Now, I'm not afraid to admit it, I had a bit of a steampunk phase as a teenager, which is probably why I smiled so much when I first saw these designs. If you aren't aware, steampunk is basically a type of science fiction that says, what if most of our technology was powered by steam? A lot of the fashion is quite Victorian inspired, so there's a lot of really cool dresses, hats and corsets. For me, the most exciting part of Steampunk Mercy is the wings, because as I said, this genre is about dealing with more limited technology. This design accounts for that and specifically includes mechanical wings, which look really, really cool. I honestly think a lot of Overwatch characters would look great in these type of clothes, and I would love to see events or cosmetic content dumped in Overwatch that aren't limited to real world events, kind of like how Hearthstone had the Fire Festival. An Overwatch Steampunk event could be tons of fun, and Mercy's voice actor, Lucy Powell, even said she'd love to see Mercy Steampunk as a skin. I I suggested a skin to him once. I was like, I want a steampunk skin. And he said, great, I hate steampunk. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine is Blackwatch Mercy. I'm gonna be honest with you, Overwatch lore has never gripped me too much because it tends to ask a lot of questions and then not answer any of them. <laughs> I know that before Blizzard can play around with alternative universes and what ifs, they need to properly establish the actual canon narrative, which they seem to have struggled with over the last four years. That being said, I just really like the aesthetics of Blackwatch and Retribution was the strongest PvE event by far, so I'd love to see it expanded upon further. There's been a lot of Blackwatch Mercy designs over the last few years and my favourite was this one for no particular reason. Just, bad guys are awesome, right? I found a website dedicated to Blackwatch designs and some of them are so good. Hey, maybe in 2029 when Overwatch 3 gets released pre-packaged with Lucio Ball 5, the theme for archives can be alternative universes. <laughs> maybe one day Blackwatch Tracer and Blackwatch Mercy will be a reality. To wrap us up, number 10 is the Sisters of Mercy, and there's a good chance you've already seen this one. This is actually two for one, a purple and pink. I think both are sick with their contrast and insanely well done, but I am especially obsessed with the purple since pink is a little close to Mercy's charity skin. If I were to wake up tomorrow to a Reddit post that was like, hey guys, check it out, the next Mercy skin leaked and these pictures were attached, I just wouldn't question it. Even if these skins aren't your aesthetic cup of tea, you've got a marvel in the effort that went into not only designing them, but actually creating creating the model, staff and pistol. When I first saw this, um, I was reminded of how Valve has a thing for Team Fortress 2 where user-made cosmetic creations can find a way officially into the game via the Steam Workshop. How crazy would it be if Overwatch had a similar program where our fan skins could potentially be added to the game? There's been a sort of content drought for a long time now and we know Overwatch is kind of in maintenance mode until sequel release. This has been and continues to worry me as a player who's been here since beta and sees so much of the community unhappy or just burned out from lack of content. I mention all the time that Symmetra and Winston still don't have victory poses that show off their gold weapons, and if users somehow had the ability to submit their own, that'd be pretty incredible. And that's all from me, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this fun little project, and have a nice day.